hi loves and welcome back to my channel so today i'm taking you on a day in the life with me we're heading to strong castle i don't know if i said pronounced but i'm gonna put the name on the screen yeah mama look a family day out so stay along for the journey i'm gonna show you like our stops when we get there what the property looks like and then you know we'll look at enjoyment right through so come along for the journey okay guys so for the remainder of this video i'm going to be doing a voiceover so the first stop we made is at juicy patty we got breakfast uh we also stopped at the gas station but i totally forgot to show you guys so as you know as you know sorry or if you don't know you're new to the channel we're coming from manchester and then so we have to go through clarendon and then we went on the toll and hello girlfriend the of um we call this thing tag yes on our car so we do to do to do don't put a toll road in a hello we burn up road mm -hmm. whose ever idea it was to create these tolls trust me thank you the only thing we need for the no i just take out the little we don't think so we'll pay back for that toll already we're tired for your pay we would have really would have really like fair travel on the toll without pain so anyways we completed the toll we got off and we're merging with people that are coming from spanish town i don't really remember what you call out here so six miles eh don't really remember but yeah so we were sticking left because we we're gonna go ahead and turn onto the boulevard yeah but i wouldn't want to do like the people who are keeping a change change lanes yeah we have to press out one horns like this one yeah yeah we're going like you want for cutting close to it so anyway so we we came from wherever that was i think that was six miles i'm not sure <laughs> and we are heading onto the boulevard yes man mm-hmm look really not bad for true these roads, not too bad. Very good for the front end. I, I, I don't really love the, the, the roads with the with the ditches, the potholes. The government needs to do something about that. So let's take a look at time. I go on a little boulevard right here. So hello. When I was on the toll, I was so excited. I was like, beautiful. Nobody's on the toll. I was even say, saying that maybe that most people are in the Ochi direction and that maybe when we get off of the toll, it's going to be the same or we're not going to be seeing much people. The two look okay, I me see it upset me. But anyways, look where them right from the people, them good, good, cute tree, but wash me. Them can't afford, are they? Them are right up on the people, them care, care, sorry. <laughs> anyways, so, I, I which part is now? I think we had turned, hey man, I know him. Anyways, we don't wear, go up Stony Hill now. This I want to look up. I want deep curve. Yeah, man. Why? The car windscreen won't wash off, though. Mm -hmm. One thing I loved about the drive up, it was very scenic and beautiful. Um, You could stop anywhere, like, on the way up to take photos, and it'd be really, really beautiful. The only thing I didn't like is that the road wasn't wide enough for you to, like, pull off. I feel like maybe if you had stopped, you kind of forgot to ask people to swing on the other side of the road. That possibly could cause an accident, but I thought the ride up was just so beautiful like absolutely beautiful yeah so we enjoyed the ride up as well and hello oh, let me tell you something so i had asked my father directions to get to stony hill so he directed me from the, the boulevard up right and then up all the way until we got to that um turn i was showing you guys yes so after that we needed to use gps and one of the time gps last week only one time though but then um, I saw my sister-in-law and they directed us and we got to the place. We were actually on the right track after we just made that wrong turn off. Yes, yeah, so after you head over this bridge, you're basically almost there. Yeah, uh, hello, somebody ill up at this steep bar. Steep, no? Me a wonder say. Mm-hmm. Um, at one point, I was a little confused though because... I thought that after we got like to a certain mention then I wouldn't be seeing anything else that could throw me off to make me feel like we're not going the right way or it just seemed like there were other things there. I mean it just feel like that was just the final destination of the Ila, nothing else never did there. But I was wrong. So anyways, we'll take a look at time. I drive go up, see people over here so I wash care. They were washing when we were going up and when we were come back down they were washing. I don't know if people live here. I'm assuming that maybe they do. More than likely they do. Yes, so going up the hill, going up the hill. Mm -hmm. So then we finally got to the property. Now the first thing we saw is that this little area, that part to the left, 
that um, has that cover on it. They were setting up for either, it was one of three things. I was told that they were going to keep a party there. But I heard that when we got there, somebody said it's a wedding reception. And then they said that it was like a... So I heard party, somebody said the reception, and then another thing was like an office thing. Something I don't know, I don't know. So anyways, we find cool shade and we park. I remember me tell us, be a photo moment. Um, I did not even go down this little trail. There's a little trail there. Um, they had pigeons. Some of the pigeons were dying because there's a shortage of feeding. And so they're unable to give the pigeons feeding. So some were dying. So this is right at the front here and then like you know it has like some of the directions as to where to go and all of that trust me the, the views the absolute like everything about it the ambience of the place is just absolutely beautiful the only thing i didn't like about this place is that it didn't provide food like why not provide some food now look at this rule i hope that you guys are seeing the first rule oh go over there and mess up the people in property while them they have to put that as their number one rule i love that the people have nice, nice place to go over there at the face. Many people have put up that. Anyway, so it's a nice little area that they could have like weddings because they do house weddings as well. So if you want to get married here, you could. Hello, let us talk about all the all away. Go down here, so go live out with childhood. Listen, I don't know which one of these things we didn't make use of, but it's the swing. Remember, all we make great use of it. Like that was so, so fun. And I don't know, it just like brought back like a lot of memories from childhood and even as adults, we really did enjoy it. Now there's this swing on this side. I really like the uniqueness of it. I've never seen like anything like this. Um, we did a lot of photos in it. We actually did um, videos as well. I really, really liked it. Um, I think it's very like relaxing and nice and something I'd want at home. Yep, some more signs. When we're going down to the water, the water part, this is. All right, so as you can see, like a little arch there and then steps down. Mm -hmm. And then there is me, a dry like. <laughs> My aunts in the background. I'm a nice clean auntie in law. Yeah, man, so enjoy yourself. Such a beautiful place. So there are two pools and, well, three pools, two sections. And in the pools is actually running like river water that they're running through the pool so the pool water is not still which is so beautiful and nice and that and i think that makes the water not be like heavy like enough your fight yeah so this is a section that we stayed at both sections have a pool that have um that little slide that goes in it i went down the slide it was beautiful yes but the next section also has like a little kiddie pool but this one only has this one pool. We shared it with another family that was there, which was really nice because when we went into the water, they came out and gave us the time to like use it. And then when they were in the water, we didn't interrupt them. So it was really beautiful and nice. And I, I think that we chose a really good day to go. We went January 1st. Yes, man. So as you see, when we pass the pool and like the little areas where you sit and put like your, your stuff, you walk down. So this is where we're walking to go back to where the other pool is um so there's this little side over here nice and beautiful photo ready me tell and then they had this the part with ducks and peacocks and turtles really really nice and then one chicken in there so random but <laughs> i don't know yes yeah, so then there's another area that you can stay here if like more families were there i don't know if you guys could see a while ago but it was drizzling a little bit yeah, so i'm gonna camera out i'll wait up for showing things but yeah, man, we're off for sure Jamaica. Oh, Jamaica, nice and beautiful. And for the people who actually would want to visit. So, it's a lot of trails at this place, I've noticed. So, you'll see that I passed, like, a lot of, like, steps and such the like. And I don't know why I stand up right here so, so long. But anyways, that trail leads to somewhere. Oh, it's a part of my journey? So, why I stand up so, so long? Don't really know. I'm going to stand up the same way anyways <laughs> so um i don't know what that little thing was to the left again something that you could capture photos beside like i said it's such the 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 greenery is so beautiful and very well taken care of none of them take care of it. the only thing i didn't like and i just feel like as somebody come there come lick it over them little garbage bin right there so they kind of mess up right over the front part there look at that bridge we took photos on it but anyway so this is the part that i had showed like i said there's so much more to the property but this was so beautiful yeah